10K to 1 mil. I'm the old coin analyst. Nothing here is financial advice. Let's dive in. The first thing we're going to do is look at Bitcoin because there's a few charts that I think are relevant to this altcoin challenge from 10K to 1 mil. And Bitcoin is and Ethereum are the centerpieces of liquidity for altcoins. And so on this channel, we've pointed out that most of the altcoins ended up putting a bottom over here. And if Bitcoin is going to correct and pull back to any one of these levels, maybe even as low as this level, if we go into a recession, which I think is possible towards the back half of this year, what's that going to do to altcoins? The reason I don't DCA altcoins is because if we look at a coin like Namecoin that's been around for three cycles, there is no profitable DCA strategy when you look at this chart. It's down to the numbers. That's it. It's not profitable to DCA. So when do I get into the altcoin market? When I think altcoins are undervalued and when I think all of them are going to go up. Because if you've been buying Namecoin or DCAing Namecoin, you are not making any money. You're lighting money on fire. That's the harsh reality of it. That's the harsh reality with a lot of the altcoins. Guys, altcoins were not meant for you to get rich. They're meant to use you as exit liquidity. So the sooner you understand that, the sooner you can build a strategy around actually being profitable in the altcoin market. Influencers that are showing you random coins, random AI coins, random meme coins that maybe have gone up two, three, four X, those influencers have made a stack of money off of your liquidity. And I guarantee you they're selling into you guys buying. So that's, that's my opinion. I'm not going to name any names, but that's the harsh reality of crypto. Going back to why it's important to understand the cycles. The math does not work out in your favor if you're DCAing anything but Bitcoin. Now, understanding the Bitcoin dominance is extremely important. Generally, after it's peaked, once it's in a downtrend, that's a sign that the money is starting to flow from Bitcoin back into the altcoin market. When Bitcoin dominance is in an uptrend, that's a sign that Bitcoin is taking the liquidity. And sure, you can point to a meme coin that's ran up 100x or 1000x on Solana. I mean, that's great if you made money. I do not know how to play the meme coin market to make those 1000x gains in two weeks. I'm sorry. If you're here for that, this is not the right channel for you. But if you want to understand how to actually build out models around altcoins and how to understand if an altcoin is undervalued or overvalued, then you're in the right place. And so timing of the purchase in the altcoin market is very important. And so someone asked, why do I keep pointing to the Bitcoin dominance? I want to see the Bitcoin dominance top out. And right now it looks like it's about to break out. And we've been watching this on the channel for a while. Now, my three strategies that I've been very clear about, I DCA Bitcoin, I yield farm stables, and I buy altcoins when I think they're undervalued and only going to go up. The other chart we're going to look at here is the ETH BTC chart. Now, we were looking at the support level that it has appeared to have broken through. And it's unclear whether or not this is just going to be another deviation like this and come back up or whether or not it's going to continue going down. Because if it's going to continue going down, I'm telling you right now, it's trouble for the altcoin market. You guys are actually very intelligent. And someone asked another great question. I talked about Athena earning about 37% APY. And what the difference is between that and the high USD, USD strategy on Beefy. This strategy that we're going to go over later in my wallet in this video is earning 83.45% APY. Now, the way you get into a strategy like this is you need to go get two assets, high USD and EUSD, and you need to LP them or provide liquidity, liquidity providing LP. And once you do that, you can then deposit into the pool and bring them over to this vault right here. And you can earn 83.45% APY. Now, how is this yield realized? Well, this yield is realized by you'll receive a number of LP tokens. That number of LP tokens is going to ever appreciate based on the arrow rewards on Aerodrome. So it is kind of complicated. I've broken it down in previous videos. The main difference between this vault and something like Athena 
is Athena is just one stable coin. So it's one stable coin that you stake and you earn that yield. However, it's a little more complex to get into a strategy like this. The risk, again, they're about probably the same. These yields aren't going to last forever. It's called yield farming. So as the yield is really high, it's meant to attract liquidity. As the TVL grows or as the pool grows, the yield's going to come down just a bit. So it is a little more lucrative, but it's not as sustainable as, say, Athena. Also pointing out a difference here, this is on base, whereas Athena is on mainnet. Well, actually, I think there are other chains that Athena is on, but for all intents and purposes, I'm speaking on behalf of mainnet for, Athe for Athena. The other strategy that I think is equivalent to Athena is SDI or savings DAI. And so this is the stablecoin DAI deposited in the DSR, the DAI savings rate. And in order to access that, you go to Spark, the Spark protocol. However, access restricted, no big deal. You can actually go over to Curve and pick up this asset and it just ever appreciates. So good strategies on mainnet are SDI and Athena. They're very low maintenance, but they, again, yielding plus 10% APY. Why is that important? Why is crypto so powerful? If you look at the historical return on the S&P 500, you're looking at around 9%. And so the risk-free rate in DeFi right now is greater than 10%. And so yes, stocks are rallying right now, but year over year, you're earning about 9% in the stock market simply by utilizing one of these strategies you are beating the s p this is why i'm so bullish on DeFi. you don't really get this opportunity in GameFi. you don't get this opportunity really anywhere else within crypto except in DeFi. and so this is why i think DeFi is so powerful you're able to beat the s p year over year returns and so that's huge that's a an insane game changer for building wealth in a decentralized way so we can actually go over to DeFi Llama. DeFi Llama is a great resource for this. And we can go to yields. And let's look at, so if we go to token, actually let's go to chain here. We'll clear all, we'll only look at Ethereum. We'll give the attribute a stable coin and we'll do a TVL of at least five mil. And we can see here the DSR, the die savings rate for SDI is 13% APY. Again, Athena is 37% APY. A seven day unstaking period, that's not the end of the world. So you get USDE, you go and stake it to get SUSDE and therefore you're earning the 37% APY. The idea is once you stake SUSDE and then you wanna unstake it, SUSDE is always gonna be appreciating and when you unstake it, you essentially just get more of the USDE for however long you were staking. And there are a ton of opportunities simply to earn yield. Now we'll go over to ITC dashboard into the Cryptoverse dashboard to talk about alt season, because again, we'll get into my wallet in a little bit, but I think going into the charts on alt season, I think is very important. So, well, this is the risk level. Let's go over to alt season. So this is the alt season index, and we can see that it's pretty much come down quite a bit. Now, I generally like to apply, I think a 14 day moving average to this, yeah, which cleans up the chart a little bit. And as you can see, it does appear like it's coming back down. So that's an indication that Bitcoin is starting to outperform most of the altcoins. I'm not against taking risk. I'm not against going really degen into those low cap altcoins for those oversized gains, but the timing needs to be right. And so that's something that I've talked about quite a lot on this channel. And I just don't think that that time is now. I mean, we could very well go into a mania phase right now, but I just think that my strategy, my indicators haven't flashed. So I'm not just going to ape into the altcoin market simply because some things appear to be going up. And so that's the thing. Bitcoin has outperformed a good amount of altcoins. However, there are some altcoins that have really outperformed Bitcoin. And so I'm happy with the returns Bitcoin has given me. But again, I just don't think that the altcoin market is worth that risk. Because if you've purchased a portfolio of altcoins that have underperformed Bitcoin, you would have just been better off DCAing Bitcoin. So that's just something that 
going back to my favorite coin ever, Namecoin, again, most altcoins look like this. So understanding when to get into them and when to get out of them is going to be very important. All right, now on to my wallet. Now we can see that currently I have about $52 of ETH in there and the rest is in beefy. So I am LPing in this vault, earning 83% APY and I'm, I've earned almost just under a thousand dollars. So I think I started with, oh yeah. Okay. So we're at the thousand dollar, we're at the $11,000 mark, which I think is pretty cool. And so this is the power of compounding your wealth in DeFi. Now I know some of you might be laughing like $10,000 guys, $10,000 is a lot of money. And if we're able to grow this wallet on this channel, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, and have a couple extra thousand dollars to go into the altcoin market when I think it's right, I think that will be huge. And so we can see the PL is $762, and I haven't done a single thing. I'm simply just earning this yield. It's ever appreciating. The reason I'm doing this is because you scroll on X and Twitter and you see these enormous screenshots of I made 5 million this week. Here's how I did it. If you want to get into the group, here's my Discord link. It costs $500 a month or whatever. They're selling you something. I'm not selling anyone any courses, any groups on this channel. I'm simply just giving you guys my insight on what I do in the crypto market. And so I thought it would be interesting to actually open up my wallet and show you guys how I navigate the crypto market. Because what you see on X or Twitter is probably not true. And most of it is used to market, to get people to sign up into a course or into a Discord group, a paid group. And those are actually very expensive. So I'm not selling a course. I'm simply doing it. I mean, if this channel gets really big and we do hit a million dollars in this wallet, I mean, maybe I'll have a group. But again, I'm not selling you guys anything. I don't have anything to sell. I'm simply just giving you guys my honest opinion. And I hope you guys are getting value out of this because I think this I think this wallet challenge is a pretty cool idea. And if you follow this advice, you will lose 100% of your funds, guaranteed. Disclaimers out of the way. And developing a strategy in the crypto market that works for you is going to be the best way. My strategy might not be for you, and that's okay. It might be too conservative, it might be too risky, but it's something that you need to come up with and only you have the answers for. Because simply copying someone on Twitter or copying someone on YouTube generally isn't a good idea, but maybe getting pieces of information from this person, getting some information from this person, doing your own research and building out your own strategy that makes sense for you is going to be the best way for you to reach success. And so again, this is my strategy. We can see that it's working. I've only earned money. I haven't lost money. And so that's another thing with people on X or Twitter, especially traders. I'm telling you, you're going to lose a lot of money. It just is what it is. It's the nature of crypto. And once you understand that they are only after your money for you to sign up in their group and they don't actually care if you make money in their group, then you'll actually realize that, okay, maybe I need to sit down and put together a strategy that works for me. What is this person saying that makes sense that I can apply to my own strategy? And with that being said, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.